There are three critical communication tools that every business leader needs to be thinking about as he or she communicates. The first is to have structure to what it is you say. Structure is absolutely critical. A wonderful structure to think about is the what, so what, now what structure. This structure helps you convey a point, teach people things, in, in some cases, convince them. You first start with the what. That is the main point you're trying to get across. Perhaps it's a new product you're bringing to market. Perhaps it's a new process you're trying to implement. The so what explains why it's important, not to you, the communicator, but to the audience. What's the value for them? And then the now what is what you want your audience to do. Having that structure helps you formalize your thoughts, package up your information, and it helps you as a communicator to be concise. The next tool you need to have is to have variety in your communication. And I mean variety in many different ways. First, you need to have variation in your voice. What we know is monotone speakers are boring and disengaging. So we need to have some variation both in our rate and in our volume. Second, we need to have variation in the evidence that we provide. Whenever you make a claim, make an argument, you need to support it. Many people, especially in the business world, use data. Data are critical and very important, and I encourage people to use data, especially if it's contextualized, if you give it context. But there are other ways of supporting your claims. Use stories. Use testimonials, that's a third-party voice. Define terms. Those are ways that you can also vary supporting your claims. The final tool I think every effective business communicator needs to have is the ability to paraphrase. Paraphrasing is a tool that helps in so many contexts. For example, if somebody is making an argument or raising a question, yet they're very unclear and it's not for sure what it is they need, paraphrase. Say something like, what I think you're asking is, or the point I hear you making is this. That helps solidify for them what it is they're saying, and it gives you a launching point for your response. Similarly, if you're in a meeting and somebody is raising objections or behaving rudely, you can use a paraphrase to say, I hear what you're saying, that's something you're very passionate about. What I'd like to do next is. So the paraphrase is a polite way to move from somebody else's communication to where you need the communication to go. With these three tools, being structured, having variation both in your voice and in your evidence, and using paraphrasing, you can be very effective in the many different types of situations you find yourself in.